Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. So it's that exciting time of year again. Now what I'm referring to is the what has become the annual release of Apple's latest and greatest Macintosh operating system. In this case, Mac OS 12, which is codenamed Monterey. That OS is about to drop and I for one am super excited about it. Now the new OS includes lots of cool new features such as share time features for FaceTime, new Safari features for better browsing, focus to help you keep your attention on your work, quick notes, universal control across your various Apple devices and live text in photos, AirPlay on Mac and much more. So if you're a tech geek like me, you definitely want those new features right now. But for those of us who use our computers to make music and to produce audio, a cool head must prevail. I'll tell you right now, be patient and be cautious. We've been through OS version updates on several platforms many times here at Sweetwater. Of course, we all want to update to the newest OS and take advantage of all the cool new features. I've been messing around with the new Monterey operating system, which is what you're seeing here. I'm actually running it on two different computers. I've got it on an M1 MacBook Pro and I've got it on an Intel MacBook Pro. I've got Studio One running over here on the Intel. And let's take a look here on the M1. I've got Studio One. And here I've got Pro Tools running. And this is Ableton Live 11 running on the M1 Mac. So as you can see, all three of these pieces of software are working just fine on Monterey. So I'd say I'm cautiously optimistic and it looks like this is going to be an excellent OS update. But these are not official announcements of compatibility. We still need to wait for the manufacturers to do all their testing and everything before we can say for sure that this software is compatible. But again, based on what I've seen here running with the beta, I'm cautiously optimistic. So I guess we should say that a major OS update like Mac OS 12 comes with an important consideration for those of us who make music and record audio on our computers. There's always a lag time before music and audio software and hardware manufacturers can update their software and hardware to make it compatible with the new OS. Of course, in some cases, no updates are required, and some manufacturers get their updates done very quickly. But for others, it can take some time for them to be positively sure that their products are 100% compatible with the new operating system. It depends on a lot of interactive factors between the operating system and the manufacturer's music and audio, hardware and software. The good news is, these incompatibilities are temporary. We know from experience that manufacturers will make Monterey compatibility a high priority. But we've got to allow them some time for any issues that might arise to be resolved before we make the leap to the new OS. There are a couple of additional things to consider with this update. First, Mac OS 12 Monterey is 64-bit only. So if you're still running 32-bit software or plugins, be sure that a 64-bit version is available or take other steps to preserve anything you might have created with those 32-bit versions before you move ahead with the update. And of course, you'll also want to ensure that your Mac itself is compatible with the new operating system. Apple says that Monterey is compatible with the broadest array of Macs of any OS, but that doesn't mean that all Macs are supported. Plus, not all Macs support all features. In general, various MacBooks from 2015 and 2016 forward, iMacs from 2015 forward, and MacBook Pros from late 2013 forward are supported. So here's the ultimate point. Until you're absolutely positive that your music and audio software and hardware will be compatible under the new operating system, I recommend waiting to update. Why take the risk of having your computer or studio out of commission for making and recording music? Those shiny new features are powerful and fun, but it's not worth it if you can make better FaceTime calls but you can't make music with your computer. Now, one of the challenges we all face is knowing when we're good to go for the update. To help us all out, Sweetwater has created a great collection of OS update resources located in the Sweet Care section of our Sweetwater.com website. The hub for all this information is our Monterey Compatibility Guide page. On this page, you'll find a list of music and audio software and hardware manufacturers and the status of the compatibility of their products with Mac OS 12. Tracking down compatibility for all the software and hardware you use can be a time-consuming challenge, and our Monterey Compatibility Guide is a one-stop resource for compatibility information for music and audio software and hardware from hundreds of manufacturers. They're all testing and updating their products, so having a single page to check is super convenient and a real time saver. Our techs are also in constant contact with our manufacturer family to ensure that we have up-to-the-minute information on this compatibility guide page. But there's more to an OS upgrade than software and hardware compatibility. The Monterey Compatibility Guide page is a hub you can use to navigate to several other important resources, including a guide on how to create a complete backup using Time Machine before you update. Please, I'm begging you, don't skip this essential step. I consider a requirement to have a complete, accurate, and up-to-date backup of your Mac before you ever start any update process. 
Then if there's a problem with the OS update or a compatibility issue, you can get back to where you were before you attempted the update. We've also got a Monterey download and installation guide so that when you're sure that everything is compatible, you got your backup in place, you'll have easy and clear step-by-step -step instructions on how to make the upgrade quickly and easily. Now operating systems in general aren't designed for serious audio recording and music making. So we've also got a guide on optimizing Monterey for music and audio production. This handy guide will ensure that you'll get the most from the new OS in your studio and on stage. Finally, SweetCare also has a guide for how to downgrade your Mac back to the previous operating system you were using. Consider it an emergency reference, if you will. If the worst happens and the Mac OS 12 update doesn't work on your machine, or if there's a serious compatibility issue, then this guide, in conjunction with the Time Machine backup we talked about earlier, will help you get your Mac back to square one so you can get right back to work making music with minimal time lost. So wow, there's lots to think about and to prepare for before you upgrade to Monterey. In fact, it all sounds maybe just a little bit scary. But fear not, it's not as terrifying as it sounds. Mac OS 12 Monterey has a bunch of really nice new features for general use. And based on my time with the beta of Monterey and what we've shown you here, it's gonna be a very cool new operating system. I've got Monterey running on both these Macs, M1 and Intel. I've been using Pro Tools, Ableton Live, Presona Studio One. I've got an Apogee Symphony desktop interface going, a Black Lion Audio Revolution 2x2 interface, and really I've had no problems at all. So again, I'm not saying everything is 100% compatible at this point, just take this as a preview. But I'll reiterate what I said earlier, I'm cautiously optimistic that the upgrade to Monterey will be smooth, easy and problem free. But if you rely on your Mac for making music and as the heart of your studio like I do, then you just can't afford to be out of commission due to problems with updates or software or hardware compatibility issues. So my advice continues to be, be cautious, be patient. I suggest waiting to upgrade until you're sure everything you need is compatible. Before you install the new OS, thoroughly check out the resources we've collected at Sweetwater's Monterey compatibility guide page in the Sweet Care section of sweetwater.com. If you're like me, being patient when it comes to new technology isn't one of your strongest virtues. I mean, I want all those new features right now. But trust me, as with any OS update on any device and any platform, it's better to hold back, be cautious, and be prepared. Then when you do make the transition, it'll be smooth and easy. You'll be able to continue making and recording music with no problems. Visit the Monterey Compatibility Guide page in the Sweet Care section of Sweetwater.com for complete information. Thanks. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater.